Ready for this, Dave? No. Well, we're going to have to do it, Dave. You and me. This is going to be a really fun show. I'm actually getting pretty excited. Uh, these are some of our first shows of 2021. How do you know about that? I don't know. I was, I was guess I was with everybody else when it happened. What? Um, ha- did you say Happy New Year to everybody? I did not. Uh, Dave, can you tell uh-huh. people out there where they can find us? Um, yes, you can find us at uh, uh, Six Unseemly on all social media and at unseemlyquestions.com. Great, Dave. That was almost perfect. I Dave rehearsed was... all night yesterday in <laughs> front of great. the mirror, but with great. the candle. Almost perfect. Let's it was get the no electricity. Let's get the show started. Welcome to Six Unseemly Questions. I'm your host, Victor Bernardo. This is my sidekick, Dave Rosinski. All right, uh, we've got a great contestant on the show today. Uh, let's bring her on up. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Tiana Miller. Tiana! Hey! Yeah. Well, right. hey how's welcome it going, Tiana? Show. Hey, what's up? Hey, it's 235 somewhere. You know what I'm saying? And in yeah. our studio audience today is T- Tatanda Mbudenzi. I probably screwed that up, but we'll talk about that later. And Amy Shanker. Come on up. Come on in, guys. Yeah, just to start up your camera. Uh, and Tatanda, you can know wow. how, how to pronounce your last name again better. Oh, it's Tatenda Mbudzi. Oh, Budzi. Tatenda Mbudzi. Yes. Okay, Tatenda Mbudzi. All right, great. Uh, well, Perfect. I hope everybody enjoyed that session where I learned. Uh, <laughs> now, uh, Tiana, now that you're here, uh, it's great to have you on the show. Uh, this is going to be a lot of fun. I can already tell. Uh, but let me tell you how the show works, and then we'll get the show started. What I'm going to do is I'm going to ask you six unseemly questions. At the end of each question, I will ring a bell if I like your answer like this. However, I do not like your answer. I will not ring a bell, and I'll tell you why. Regardless of how many bells you get at the end of the show, we'll decide whether or not it was worth giving you $5 uh, as part of your appearance on the show. Uh, a decision will be mine, all mine. And, all right. and ours. No, no, not really. I mean, I asked your opinion, but in the uh, end, it's well, my that's decision. That's true, I guess. Yeah, we can try to influence you. Yes, that's true. And we could also try to be a negative influence in your life. You've already done that, Dave, so congratulations. You've done that. Uh, so, first of all, uh, Tiana, it's time for question number one. Uh, question Woo-hoo! number one, what's punk rock? Uh, not giving a f- Really? Is this not in any situation? So, like, if you're a, say, like, a mason, like, who's, like, supposed to be putting together a house with brick and mortar, and then you just don't use mortar, then you're punk rock? Yeah, pretty much. That's how it works. Really? <laughs> Yeah, that just sounds like a disregard for like safety. What well, about cr- crossing the street and not looking at both ways? Yeah, that's punk rock. I that is that punk once. rock. You that's, know what? That's I'm tough. Say, content wise, I don't think this answer is worth a bell. But attitude wise, you get a bell. Wow. <laughs> yes. Well, I mean, she's got that very punk rock attitude. I, I, I'm falling for it. Okay. You disagree with me, Dave? No, no, I, I'm 100% on board. Okay, all right. 100% on board, that doesn't sound very punk rock. No, I meant on the board <laughs> game. I'm sitting on a, a game of life board game right now, just to judge my seat. Oh, okay. <laughs> These are the best puns I've ever heard, Dave. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, You're welcome. <laughs> it, is, it is time for question number two. But before we get to question number two, would you tell people out there what you do? Uh, I'm a dog walker and I host the podcast. You're a dog walker and you host a podcast. And I contribute to some satire sites. Oh, and contribute to some satire sites. Do you want to say anything about which those sites are or do you just want to? Yeah, just... check out the Hard Times Jump Kick is a new site. Um, yeah. This is your most punk rock guest we've ever had, by the way. I don't know play. how, but thank you. You are, Tiana. You're you're right there. Uh, anyway, it's time for question number two. Uh, question number two. Uh, in your relationship, who's the shrew? Uh, for instance, in my relationship, I'm definitely the shrew. Uh, I, I would say the one that has to be tamed. Yeah, I don't like that question. <laughs> it's a question. Know. It's uh, as old as Shakespeare. Uh... We can't, we're, we're switches. 
we switch. You switch, <laughs> you switch being the shrew, or you're switching the more traditional like sense. We switch being the shrew. We talking yes. about light switches, or I'm talking about sex. I don't. I don't. I try not to be a shrew. I guess I'm more the one that needs to be told to shut up, if that's what you mean. I'm the one that's friends with Victor, so we're not going to tell you to shut up on this show. Well, uh, okay. I'm still going to go with me because I don't want to call my partner a shrew. I like them. Okay, that's fine. I also didn't call my partner a shrew. I called myself a shrew. So I think that was a smart move just yeah. in general, you know, relationship wise. I mean, I did the same thing. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to say uh, no bell on that question uh, <laughs> because it took a long time uh, to get to the point, which is uh, what was Dave even saying? All right. Big, uh, big time surprise for... over there. Big surprise. I didn't say anything actually. It is time for question number three. Uh, question number three. Uh, what do you remember about the bar fight we got in? Oh, I, I really remember almost everything. It was one of my first favorite memories in comedy. <laughs> it was so funny. Really? To me. Yeah, like hanging out. I, th I think it's pretty funny too. Hillary Clinton was hilarious. Like I was. Yeah, <laughs> we, yeah, we were in a bar fight while uh, you were dressed as Hillary Clinton. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I remember this. I think I'm the one that fought you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Someone like I remember you were Hillary Clinton and Victor was dressed up as a potholder with his new scarf. Uh, you know what would be? In, can, can you tell the story from your point of view? Uh, yeah, we had just finished a show at Auto Shrunken Head. It was a bar show, light audience as usual. All the comedians went up. It was already running low because it's you know a comedy show in New York. Mm -hmm. And we were having a birthday party in the back after the show. No audience was there anymore. And the host had gotten a cake for everyone to just like sort of hang out and celebrate a birthday afterwards. And this guy came in from Broadway or somewhere and he was like, he demanded that he go on stage, even though there was only like me and Victor eating cake in the back. So he went on stage and the minute he opened up, Victor went boo and the guy just jumped off the stage on top of Victor. Well, I mean, I just want to mention that right before he went wow. on stage, right before he went on stage, he was like, hey, I want to, he goes, I want to go perform. On the, and we were like, the show's over. But then he's like, you'll love whatever I do. And I was like, <laughs> I was like, we probably won't. And then he goes, uh, he goes, I'll make a deal with you. If you don't like after I start talking, if you don't like it, then I'll, then I'll, uh, then I'll stop. That's what he said. Like, if you don't <laughs> like it, I'll stop. And then I was like, okay, go ahead. <laughs> and then he got on stage and I don't remember what the first thing he said, just like some setup for just like some lame joke. And then he's like, it was just like, uh, something like, you know, I'll tell you what, I, I don't hang out with my wife anymore or something like that. Like, that's what he said. And that I was, was like, really boo. <laughs> and then, and then we, uh, and then we turned, we all turned away and we're laughing. Cause we were like, you know, we're comedians and we were just mean. And so, <laughs> so, so that's uh that's what we did and then we started talking to each other uh you and i and then uh i feel like a tap on my shoulder and i had completely forgotten about the guy and so <laughs> i i decided you yeah, he blindsided me, and I was like facing him, and I didn't even see him coming. Oh, no, in my no, mind, no. like it was over. I think we were say? just like we laughed, and we just like, <laughs> and I just totally forgot about it, everything. And then so I feel a tap on my shoulder. I turned to this fist, just going you... whap on the side of my face. <laughs> he yeah, jumped he really on him just... though. It was like violent. He was like <laughs> holding you down in a corner and just like wailing on you. Like all this dude's <laughs> aggression just came out on Victor. Did you get hurt? <laughs> Uh, I got hurt. I was just dressed as Hillary Clinton hanging off the guy. He went he ape. He didn't hit Actually, you, the, the thing was, I didn't, I didn't really get hurt uh, because even though he was welling, I mean, he was, he was an older guy and he was really, really drunk. So it was more like, <laughs> it was more like, uh, it was more like confusion. For it, was like yeah, a it, was, it was, it was, it was, I mean, it is not, it is not, it is not, uh, it is definitely painful to get punched in the face. However, uh, this reminded me of getting punched in the face like when I was a kid rather than getting punched in the face by a grown-ass man. 
It was like it was, a wasted <laughs> 80 year old, right? It was, it was a really confusing because yeah. like, I felt oh. like I was helping you, but I also mm -hmm. felt bad even involving myself because of who it was and how he was hitting. It was like. It was weird. Also, you were dressed like Hillary Clinton at the time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so and I it was just weird all around. Night. It just went somewhere. <laughs> all right. You know, I'll tell you what. Uh, I'm going to say uh, Bell on that question uh, because it brings up a really, Woo! really weird story. And the details <laughs> coming back are very surprising. Uh, okay. So uh, it is time for question oh, number okay, four. Cool. Uh, how are you feeling, studio audience, so far? Are you having a good time? You've been the most quiet <laughs> studio audience I think we've ever had. Yeah, keep it down, So I guys. just wanted to let you know that it is okay to talk if you feel like it. Yeah. Uh, if you you know what? Like why don't it. we why don't we take a quick step back? Uh, what did you think about Tiana's first answer? The punk rock one. Yeah, what's punk rock? I thought it was good. I was way off track. I was just thinking it was music. So she went more in depth than. Yeah, it was, it. Very, it was very understated and just uh, subtle, but also like a steam train. You didn't know it meant running in traffic and not looking, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Well, uh, I'll take that as you uh, enjoyed maybe. it. Maybe. We'll take it as a maybe. You enjoyed it. You enjoyed the I'm question. Good. I would have given her a bell for the shrew one, though, because that was kind of a confusing question. Oh, yeah. You, uh, you I thought it was very confusing as well. You said you wouldn't have given I her a bell? would have. You would have given her a bell because it was confusing. Yeah, yeah. that's your own is that like your preferred? A... Is that like your preferred state of being? Confusion? Correct. Hmm, I don't know. I think, I think Are you the, doing the... it right now? <laughs> I think the, some of the the guy who writes some of the questions are confusing. Yes. Wow! Wow, Dave, that's not cool at all. Well, yes. I figured, out, I figured out that it, that it was taming from based on taming of true. Um, yes. But then I for for the first few seconds I was like, "What the hell is a shrew?" <laughs> uh, well, like a little mouse, right? A uh, shrew. It is. Uh, I believe it's. A, isn't it a bird? No, it's a rodent. It's, a, it's a rodent? I don't really I don't know, know what a shrew is. I just know in the taming of the shrew, I'm the shrew. I it's thought it was a relationship. Food. I'm the shrew. Isn't it like a sauce? <laughs> <laughs> yes. I'm going to say yes. Uh, it is time for uh, question number four, all right? Question number four, four Tiana. Tell me your favorite diss. What, like insults? Sure. Yes. Um... Probably the obvious one for comedians is just you're not funny. Oh, oh. Right? Is that a is that a diss or an attempt to bore someone's heart out of their chest with the? <laughs> well, and by bore, I mean yeah. drill a hole through their chest. Yeah, like oh. just tell them that their chosen <laughs> profession they're just so horrible. At. Why are you? Yeah, why are you speaking old English this episode? <laughs> What? He's, I, he's, he's from the 1800s. That's why. I'm sorry, he's but born like, in the 1800s. like 99 percent of English is old. All English is old. I mean, sure, you do have some of your words which are like brand new words, like sexed. That's a new one. And sexercise, but most of everything else is brand new. Is relaxing. That's uh, right. So, Tiana, let me ask you something. Have you ever yes. told any comic they're not funny? Have you done that? Yet? Yeah, I've done that when I was really times? angry. I did it once. So once. I, mean, I had my feelings hurt. And what happened to this person? Did they jump off a rooftop or something? Or what, what was the outcome? They never spoke to me again. Damn. All right. There you go. Yeah, that's a very, a very sad ending. Too. Listen, I, I play basketball with comics sometimes, and it's one of the top things that they say to each other when they're pissed off. Yeah. Really? You're not funny. Oh, yeah. And the fights? Oh, big time. I'm that's not a, a, actually I, I don't hang out with I don't hang out with a lot of I mean I do hang out with a lot of comics but I don't do the uh I don't do the the deep comedy community dive like I'm yeah. not like I don't like hang out at clubs like forever and ever and I don't I kind of like do my thing and kind of like go back the only place I ever hung out at is that was a place was the creek in the cave what about back. sizzler you always went to sizzler with all your comedian friends uh <laughs> I've never actually gone to Sizzler, <laughs> Sizzler uh, so far. Open, dude. I know what Sizzler is, but I don't think I've actually... Actually, maybe I have gone to Sizzler. Okay. But the point is, 
the point is I was never a big hanger. Uh, even when, when I came to New York at first, I started hanging at clubs more. I would hang at the comic strip and I would hang at the cellar sometimes. And then I realized I didn't really like that vibe of, because uh, I don't hanging like, out. I mean, contrary to what this show seems like, I don't like when people are mean. <laughs> uh, I'm raising this up because I am about to give you a bell uh, about your favorite disc because it, it was something that uh, felt really, really true in the comedy world. Uh, the that's, that's quite a disc, but also it's, it's a thing that like every comic is secretly thinking to themselves anyway. Yeah. <laughs> that's why it works Which so is well. probably why it's such a disc. What'd you say, Chitanda? I think that's why it works so well. And it's, it's also worse when someone says it to you and they say it in a way that as if they're trying to help you. It's like the worst. It's just the worst. It sounds, it is. Has that happened to you before? That happened to me once in Canada. And I was so mad. I haven't forgotten it. It just made me so mad. Maybe I want to kill that person. <laughs> Are they still here? Oh. Like on the planet? Yes. I believe so. Were you able to get any weapons over the border into Canada or? No, but I drove a car full of my belongings. I, I did have a sword, but I left my sword in LA. Do you That's think for the best? <laughs> <laughs> Probably. All right, uh, it's time for, oh, go ahead. What do you think would hurt more, that nag or just someone being like, you're not funny? Isn't, wait, are you talking, isn't that the same thing? I guess it's the same thing, but do you think it, them trying to put it nicely made it any better or? oh you mean if they're actually just trying to hurt your feelings or if they're actually like genuinely <laughs> trying to tell you that you're not funny and you should get out of the business so that you can have a good life yeah oh uh, i think i think they're genuinely trying to tell you that it's that you're not funny is, would probably hurt more because they think that they're doing you a favor so they have no idea what well, I actually have a, I would have a counter question to that uh, before someone was like, would it hurt if someone said that I wasn't funny? First of all, tell me uh, in this situation, do I think that they're funny? Because if I don't, <laughs> it doesn't, it doesn't matter. Like what, what if they audience? Think. Like if what I don't if, think they're funny, I'm just like, okay. What if it's audience and they're not supposed to be funny? You uh, don't take it seriously? No, not, I don't usually, no, actually. I'm, in fact, I have been told I wasn't funny by quite a few people. <laughs> And how did that go for you? you uh, well, I have this awesome podcast that I've created where I make all the rules. So obviously it didn't harm my psyche. It is time for question number five. Uh, question number five, Tiana, what is your most bankable skill? Oh, I like to think being funny, but I don't know. I can play like four, car four chords on an electric guitar. And if I wear the right jacket, maybe that'll become something. That's pretty good. So, oh, so you are, I, I, um, I'm gathering from what you're telling me. It's your music. Yeah, I guess. I was getting the ability to wear jackets. Yeah. Also shoulders, having shoulders. That's a big one for me. Uh, yeah. One. I mean, shoulders are great. I mean, especially. Shoulders. Who needs them? If you want to wear that jacket for your music thing as well, you'll need them. Yeah. Uh, yeah exactly. Otherwise you'd just be like a pole wearing a jacket. No one wants to watch that. What What is your band? I don't have one right now. Uh, everyone died. <laughs> what? <laughs> they did. I don't everyone know. Everyone in your band died? I My drummer died and my guitarist was cheating on me. I don't know. And you it killed was Fleetwood him? Mac. Wait, I wait, wait, him. wait. But your guitarist was cheating on you. Is your guitar still alive? Yeah, uh, I think they transitioned, but- You just she's... told me everyone died doing okay to yeah to me exactly well, thank you, I'm sorry. <laughs> you didn't. Uh, this is a very different conversation now than it was 20 months. minutes ago uh yeah I but my I, drummer I, died i miss him a lot it's unfortunate yeah uh, we're sorry, sorry to hear I'm sorry that. to hear that it's okay thank you uh so uh when are you gonna start a new band <laughs> tomorrow <laughs> Why, why don't you just... <laughs> when does this wrap? I'm getting going. Why don't you have a new Zoom band? I'm, you know what? I'm going to start a Zoom band and it's going to yeah. be really sad. It's going to be so, so <laughs> huge. I'm just looking for the right xylophone player. Oh, there's so many on Zoom. Go to zoom.com xylophone.edu. I'm going to say bell on that question and I will tell you why. Because I asked you uh, 
about your band, uh, why what happened to your band, and you said everyone died, and that was the most shocking answer <laughs> in a while on the show. It's a band, man. That happens. Like I that. get it, but uh, <laughs> incredibly shocking. All right. It's true. True. Um, it is time for question number six. Question number six: What message are you trying to deliver to the world? Oh man. Uh. My whole thing has always been for especially like low income communities, uh, be creative instead of killing yourself. Mm -hmm. And I guess I still back that getting a hobby and really investing in the hobby is way better than getting Xanax and really investing in the Xanax. And that's all I'm trying to get across to the kids. Your kids? I, I, Pfizer's kids, America. I don't know. Pfizer's got a lot of kids. I know. Well, it's got a lot of kids. That's the yeah, and they all got to get vaccinated soon. <laughs> I will say no bell on that question. Uh, and I'll tell you why. It's because I feel that your message is a bit muddled. Uh, it's hard for me to really grasp. That's why uh, I'm in therapy. You should have just went with world peace. He gets that one. <laughs> okay, so we have asked you six questions. Uh, thank you very much. So now it's time thank to you. decide whether or not you get $5 for appearing on the show. Uh, but before I do that, uh, can you tell everybody out there where they can find you? Uh, I am Tiana the Goblin on every form of social media, I guess, T-I-A-N-A. -A. And I write and contribute to The Hard Times. I also started a new podcast with their podcasting network, The Horror Times. So check that out. It's on all platforms. All right. Awesome. Okay. So, uh... Let's take it to you, Dave. What do you think? Should Tiana get five dollars? Um, hmm. I'm gonna go with yes on this one, and I'm not really sure why. So since I don't have an explanation, you should just uh, take my yes and ask the next person. Okay. Uh, all right. I'll I'll do that this time, Dave. Uh, Thanks, Amy, Christian. what do you think? Should Tiana get five dollars? Uh, I think that she should get $5 because I liked her last answer about helping children in poor communities and they need that $5. So maybe she'll give it to them. I forgot about that. That's right. All right. Uh, that was pretty straightforward. Uh, Tatunda, what do you think? Should Tiana get $5? Yeah, I think so. I mean, wait, but if she gets $5, does that mean no one else gets $5? <laughs> Maybe. What a selfish question. <laughs> what a selfish question. You know, that, that uh, question is real. Answer... It, it made sense when we used to play this game for cash and how much $5 Victor had in his wallet. The answer is, uh, the answer is no, it doesn't. $5? Because you like can three, throw, $5? Uh, all of you can win $5 or only, or one of or you. None or none of you. Or none of you. Either, either is possible. Either way, I think she should get the $5. I, I, I like her a lot. I could totally get her lost answer because, you know, Hobbies are better than Xanax, Xanax, Xanax. Thank you. <laughs> all right. Well, maybe hobbies are better than Xanax. Yeah, maybe we'll all get a new hobby. Um, it seems like your message hit everybody a lot harder than it hit me, but still no bell. <laughs> That's because you need a new hobby. <laughs> I, I, I will try to get one, Dave. I'm sorry that I don't have a new hobby just yet. <laughs> the important thing about talking to Dave is just get through the conversation as quickly as possible. Just say, Oh, that's how I feel about you, too. <laughs> All right. Uh, <laughs> Tiana, uh, yeah. what do you think? Should you get $5? Oh, wait. Actually, I'm sorry. We forgot. Uh, we forgot to ask our producer, uh, Rachel. What do you think? Should Tiana get $5? Yeah, I Tiana, I really liked your overall attitude. Usually I have something more specific about answers to give, but you know what? Overall, $5. Yay! All right. She likes your overall attitude. Uh, Rachel also considers herself punk rock, by the way. I don't know if you know that. It's I'm, true. I'm glad. Good. All right, uh, Tiana, so what do you think? Should you get $5? Um, I don't know. I'm just glad you guys had me on. I was pretty bored today. <laughs> Well, I mean, I gotta be honest. It was a boring day. I gotta be yeah. honest. Uh, your punk rock attitude makes me want you to like me so much. I'm <laughs> definitely giving you five dollars. I can't help it. 
I am trapped. <laughs> I ha and so you win five dollars. Congratulations, uh, and you're a great guest on the show. Uh, I just have you. to wrap this show up. Uh, so, uh, Dave, what did you learn from this week's show? I learned that uh, Tian is stuck at two thirty-five for the last thirty-five minutes. <laughs> Nothing has changed, and I like that little pegboard back there. Thank you. So let's just keep that pegboard going, and let's just keep it at two thirty-five for the next twenty years. Those of and you, and we'll all meet up right here. Those of you who are listening to the podcast, I just want you to point out that Dave is not thinking of you by his description of his all of his jokes uh, tied what? into the visuals on TV. Who the hell's listening background. to this podcast? There's people, you know, there's people out there. Uh, all right. Uh, that's the show. Oh, sorry. That's uh, the show? Everybody, no, there's one more thing. Everybody can find us at unseemlyquestions.com. Unseemly on all social media. Meaning, uh...